In this food challenge, I'm eating the newest junk foods out on shelves right now. At the beginning of every year here in America, companies release new flavors of cereal, candy, ice cream, and even fast food items. And the items just released have been legendary, to say the least. Cinegram Toast Crunch, Reese's Puffs, Clusters, Oreo Cakesters, Taco Bell's new Chipotle Chalupa, and much, much more. I decided I wanted to buy and eat all of these items to see for myself which one is the most legendary. This is the Junk Food Face Off, Episode 1. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another food challenge, everyone. Let me just tell you all, I have something very special in store for you. I have the all new Reese's Puffs Cluster Crunch right there, along with brand new Pop-Tart flavors, new Chips Ahoy ice cream, Cinegram Toast Crunch, the things I'm most excited for, Oreo Cakesters and Nutter Butter Cakesters, and I have two all new fast food items over here from KFC and Taco Bell. But before I get into the food challenge, I've got something to tell you all. This video is being brought to you by Kamikoto Knives. You may not know this about me, but I absolutely love cooking. And in my opinion, there is nothing better than having a perfect knife set waiting for me when I start making dinner every night. Kamikoto Knives are made from Japanese steel using traditional techniques that took over 800 years to perfect. Because of their single bevel edge, Kamikoto knives can achieve an unbelievably sharp edge you just can't get with other knives. They can cut through your ribeye like butter. Kamikoto knives are even used by several chefs working at Michelin star restaurants. Each knife comes in a beautiful heavy duty ash wood box, which ensures that the knife is stored safely. It can also make a great gift as well. Everyone, I've been using basic knives ever since I started cooking. When I first opened my Kamikoto box, I knew that my kitchen experience was about to get taken to a another level. Ever since I got my knives, I look forward to making dinner every night. And after just a few days of using these knives, I'm never going back to my regular knife set. Here's the deal, everyone. Kamikoto is currently having a massive extended New Year's sale just for you guys. And on top of that sale, you can get an additional $50 off any purchase you make with discount code electric ship. And by the way, Kamikoto is so confident about their knives that each knife comes with a lifetime guarantee. So once again, click the link below and use promo code electric ship to save an additional $50 today. A while back, I did something called carb collections. In carb collections, I ate all new foods just like this. Carb collections were great back in the day, but I failed to do something extremely important to them. I failed to let you know which junk food items were worth buying and which ones were not worth buying. So I'll be doing that in this video and in future videos just like this one. I've decided not to call them carb collections. I was thinking more like junk food face off. I haven't really decided on a name yet. So if you have one, drop it down below in the comments. Oh, and at the very end, I'm gonna be letting you know which junk food item is my favorite. Anyways, everyone, now that that's out of the way, I think I'm ready to get this challenge started. Without further ado, everyone, this is the junk food face off. Let's do this. Perfect, we got a Taco Bell. Oh, and I saw this at the store, and you know what? I felt like it would be great because it's new, and I'm trying new things. And I just wanted to show some love to my man, Logan Paul and KSI, for coming out with Prime. It looks amazing. I've heard great things. Here we go. Let's try that. I'm not just saying this, everyone, but wow, that is delicious. Mm, that is good. That's like the lowest calorie thing I'll be ingesting tonight. Perfect. I think I want to start with the... Actually, you know what? I think I want to try something a little bit different for this challenge. Instead of me just going and randomly picking what I eat, I'm going to do something a little bit different. One, two, three. So we have nine items. So what I'm actually going to do is put a list of numbers on the screen. Each item is going to correspond to what I have on the table right now. And I'm going to use a random number generator to help me choose what I eat and in what order I eat. I don't know, just something different. All right, so here we go. Number five is KFC. All right, here we go. You're probably wondering what is the first item, and it is the all new KFC Beyond Chicken. All right, folks, it's time to get this challenge started in three, two, one. Not bad. I gotta hit this with some sauce. I think it's gonna be a little bit better. KFC chicken is down. I just gotta say, I had that about a year and a half ago when they released it for the first time on my second channel with my girlfriend. I was really hoping it was gonna be better this time around. I'm gonna say no. Now it's time to move on over to the Boston Cream Pop-Tarts. And that is what they look like right there. Let's see what we got on the inside. I love Boston Cream Donuts. But am I gonna love Boston Cream Pop-Tarts? Oh wow, oh wow. Mmm. Let's get a fire. Mmm. These pop tarts are, <laughs> these are absolutely amazing. Seriously, blown away. 
The pop tarts are down. I'm gonna say those are worth it. <laughs> It's a Taco Bell, oh, dude. That's kind of why I wanted to like spice this up, but also at the same time, I kind of didn't want to spice this up because I need savory things to break up all the sweetness, but oh well. All right, I'm gonna need something for this. No, I'm not gonna be using Chips Ahoy for this, but I will be using something that is legendary, which you guys should know by now is wow sauce. And I'm gonna be putting wow sauce on the all new Chipotle Cheddar Chalupa from Taco Bell. I had this on my second channel, but I wanted to have it again because it's new and new items go in challenges like this. So that's why. All right, well, let's talk about Chipotle cheddar. The loopers are down. I gotta say, those are definitely worth it. Ooh, Oreo cakes. Oh, I'm so excited for these. These were discontinued when I was a kid, but they brought them back. This is one of those times where like, I'm really, really excited, but I'm also really nervous because I don't want to get let down, all right? Because the original Cakesters were legendary. And Oreo has brought them back. Now let's see if they're still gonna be as legendary as they once were. W. Oh. Man, those are good. I don't even need to say it, but I'm gonna say it. Those are 100,000% worth it. Where are we going next? And you guys gotta let me know if you like this number generator idea. I just thought it was a little bit better than the usual. All right, so number seven. We already did number seven, so we're doing... Then we already did number four. Jeez. Eight is the Reese's Puffs Cluster Crunch. Smells like Reese's, all right? And I love clusters and cereal, so I really hope this is gonna be everything I want it to be. All right, that's what we got right there. And I don't have any milk. Let's see what we got. All right, let's see if this is gonna be good. Hmm, I don't know what I think about that. Another one, I'm a little bit let down, just because I can't really taste the clusters anywhere. It just tastes like Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs are amazing, all right? So I'm gonna definitely eat this box anyways. Whew. I'll pick that up later. By the way, I'm very curious if you've tried any of these items that I'm eating tonight. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought of them. I have my opinion, all right? And you may have a different opinion. I'm curious to know what that is. Let me know. The uh, Reese's Puffs are down. Actually, I need that bowl, so keep that close by. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to say that those are not worth it. Oh, right, here we go. What's next? Oh, back to cereal. All right. Get that cereal bowl close by. Oh, wow. These smell amazing. By the way, this is the Cinegram Toast Crunch cereal that just came out. Once again, I'll pick that up later. All right, so this looks absolutely amazing. You guys know how much I love Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and you probably don't know how much I love graham crackers. And I'm actually really curious to see if this is gonna taste like Cinnamon Toast Crunch and graham crackers, because that's kind of what I think it's gonna taste like. Let's try this out. I always feel dumb when I say let's try it out, because I'm actually eating the entire thing. Um, all right, anyways, here we go. W. Oh. Two really big fires. <clears throat> this is the best cereal I've had in years. Cereal's down. 
everyone that was absolutely amazing oh my goodness i'm gonna say that is a hundred thousand percent worth it right there now we have our nutter butter pictures our pop tarts and this delicious looking ice cream let's see what we got what do we got number six is the apple fritter pop tarts right here and i love boston cream donuts but i also really love apple fritters i actually love apple fritters more than i love boston cream donuts so let's see if these are going to be everything i want them to be uh, let's see what we got on the inside. Let's see if it's gonna taste like an apple fritter. Nah, uh, not quite an apple fritter. But, oh well. Everybody, well, pop tarts are down. I gotta say, those were just they were they were not worth it, but I mean, good thing the Boston cream ones were good. So it looks like it's two and nine. We'll be here for a while, all right? So it looks like number nine is here. Let's do this, all right? So number nine is the Chips Ahoy ice cream. I feel like I've had this before, but I might just be thinking of something else. I mean, I did it does say new on it, so. You guys have made it up in this point just go ahead and comment ice cream down below i gotta say this ice cream is actually pretty good it's got little chunks of cookies in it just in case everybody wanted to know all right everybody well the uh, ice cream is down that leaves us with our nut butter casters. I forgot to let you all know that I have my next calorie challenge dropping next week, so you should all get really, really excited for it. If you stick around until the end of the challenge, you'll see a sneak peek of it. And also you'll see which one of these is my favorite. Where are my nut butter people at? Comment down below. Oh man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one because I definitely did. Everything was absolutely amazing tonight, folks. I ate a lot of new foods, but everyone, the best thing out right now, which is my new favorite junk food item, is the all new Cinegram Toast Crunch. That stuff is absolutely life-changing. And also everyone, get ready for next week's epic calorie challenge. In the next 24-hour challenge, I attempt to eat $500 worth of food in one day. If you're new around here and want to see more food challenges, go ahead and subscribe to the channel down below. And also don't forget to give the video a like if you haven't already. I'm going to go ahead and put another food challenge similar to this one right along the sidebar, along with the playlist of mine that I think you're going to enjoy. Once again, everyone, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you all in the next food challenge.